Aloha, ye scurvy dogs and other nautically related greetings. I'm very excited about today's video for two reasons. One, we have to come up with a third less content every week. Two, Jamie's back. <laughs> and can I just say, Channel 10, excellent choice, sir. Clearly we're going to skip through most of episode one as it doesn't have much Jamie in it. What the hell were you thinking? That's your strongest card! But essentially, you know how this drill goes. Let's all follow Jamie's story arc, which I'm imagining is gonna be the exact same, being annoyed by him, then thinking, oh shit, this is the funniest man alive, then feeling really sorry for him. Someone else? Oh, Dragon! Oh, no. It's Jamie! Here it is! The big dog! Well, that's always a positive start, isn't it? When the girls are laughing at you just for entering. Jamie, Jamie! Shit. <laughs> that's not Jamie. Oh, it's not. Oh, oh no! Trick to go! The dragon! Ten. You are the devil himself. What's your name? Hi, mate. What's your name? Jake. Jake, Jake. how are you, mate? Good, bro. Yourself? Good, bro. Good. I'm Jake, I'm from Georgia Love season of The Bachelorette. Well, let's be honest, it is just Jamie, except for more sleazy, mad. Wait, no! That's, oh, it's that's not. Jake Ellis! Oh my god. We thought you were Jamie, bro. No, <laughs> <laughs> Jamie. Imagine if those were your celebrities in life. Wow, some cunt with gel in his hair. That's those chicks, Brad Pitt. Yes. Yes, the G-Up music! They know what's coming! Oh, it's the Big Bang! <laughs> I'm Jamie. Strutting his stuff? Oh, we know who you are. And I'm from Angie's season <laughs> of The Bachelorette. People know me as the Stage 5 Clinger. And don't you forget, Jamie, the loyal dog. He gets the right vibe. Something doesn't feel right. <laughs> I could smell the disingenuousness in that man. If only I knew how to say disingenuousness. And that's a compliment. This is gonna sound like a bit of a curveball. Yeah. I actually wanna sit in with both of you, <laughs> if that's okay. It's a bit creepy. I am the eyes and ears in this mansion. I'm always watching, I'm always listening. They feel that I'm too needy for you, like a stage five clinger. Isn't this an incredible sentence to utter? Jamie dodged a bullet. I'm here for redemption. I'm here for my second chance to find love. There's someone coming in. It's Jamie, it's Jamie! <laughs> yes. Everybody run! Run, girls! Oh. Girls, run! <laughs> the stage five clinger is here! Do I look like him? Yeah, from a distance. From a distance. And I don't like it when people that are marginally more intelligent than Jamie are making fun of him. I mean, I know that this is the entire point of these videos, but still, just seeing some guy that looks exactly like Jamie, oh, what an idiot, F off. Tim runs up to me, <laughs> big sexy himself, gives me a big hug. Tim is my best friend. Run, girls. I'm glad you showed me, I would've got lost. Run. I think I'm Jamie's best mate, but Jamie's not my best mate. <laughs> All right, just 22 minutes in. This is gonna be a long season. It's intense, it, it makes me a little bit uncomfortable. Ick. Well, we might sit down talking to a couple of the girls and have a chat, right? right? I know a lot of girls are scared of me. How's everyone going? Good. 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 I've cooled down. Yeah. Like since yeah, the yeah. show or yeah. like just now? <laughs> So, I want to come across as more of a relaxed guy. Ah, uh, Jamie, why do you have such a big head? What is the oldest guy you would date? Mm. Um. <laughs> I wonder who that come from. <laughs> I wonder who wrote that. <laughs> that was my question. Just don't ask chicks that. Jamie, you look 10, it's fine. I have no idea how Jamie's going to go with the ladies. He's 40 years old. Huh? Who do you think you are? You're not George Clooney, pal. No, but I disagree. I'm, I'm genuinely saying this. He's more handsome than George Clooney. Jamie is just creepy, but that might be my only option. If you don't get one, I'll give it, I'll give you one, all right? Okay. okay. All right? Thank you. I promise you. What are you plotting? Let me in the middle. I'm just looking after my girl, man. 
Look, I'm loving Bachelor in Paradise so far. It's pretty much exactly the same because all the favourites are there, aka Tim and Jamie, that's it. But now with Island Rhythms. And I get to wear this shirt, which is pretty sick, available at Lonely Kids Club, I think. I don't know, probably not. It's pretty out of date. So, obviously Kieran likes cows. <laughs> but Abby really likes, Abby likes Kieran. Kieran. Right? So, can, you know, can't can we do something? Alright, let's move on to episode two. That was a really solid... Six minutes of material in an hour and a half show, guys. Poor Jamie. He's not bobbing anyone. I don't think anyone will bob him. I just wish you'd just, like, relax. It's a bit much. See? You know, any guy is going to be fine with the ladies if they use this word a lot. Vibing. Jamie's not vibing anyone and I am not vibing that. Jake. Tim, can we have a chat? Are oh, you a mate? Yeah. Jamie, what are you going to tell me now? Oh, no, 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 it's nothing. Um, it's better be important. You drag me over here, interrupt my chat. In fact, any incel at home right now, just know that there is not that much of a difference between you and Tim. I'm sure you both have a lot of scraggly, unnecessary hair. Just use the word vibe more. Gigolo overnight. And if you want to pick up backpackers a lot, make sure that you use the word bant. With the boys having the power in the rose ceremony, I'm honestly a little bit confused about where my rose is going. I'm having a lot of difficulty with making a decision. I've never given a rose to somebody. So to me, this is a big moment. And I just need a little bit of help. I was gonna give my rose to Abby as a friendship rose. I like how he pouts heaps when he's confused. <laughs> Maybe if I turn myself into Psyduck, I'll be less confused. Love Jamie to death, but he's mad as a cut snake. I think Jamie thinks he's the bachelor with a big bouquet of roses. Like, at, at the moment, I, I really wanted my rose to go to either Cass, Eleanor, or Britt. And he's promising these roses to all these girls, and he won't stop talking about it. Yeah, calling it now. The dynamic duo, it'll be a rating smash. Up late with Jamie, with Sideman, Tim. Oh, so did you see in the news today there was this Indy 500 car crash? Oh, mate, I thought they were just watching this show, eh? Hey? Is, is that a joke? Are you, are you having a go at me? I thought you were my best friend. Oh, whatever, Jamie, just keep the vibe going. Come on, wouldn't you watch that? Especially if one of the segments, the crowd favourite is him saying, will you go on a date with me? To any female guest they have. And everyone thinks it's a joke. The only person that doesn't is Jamie. What am I doing here? <laughs> I'm going for a paddleboard. Who I'm not romantically feeling That's for. Fair. But I want to give them an extra week in paradise. Yeah, for sure, 100%. <laughs> He's gone. Like... So you know what I really f***ing hate about that black hat? That is basically just an indicator that oh, I'm a group think drone. I walk through the mall one day and oh, a mannequin in just jeans has that. I'll take that, thank you. Please, please, if you're going to be a TV personality, have a personality. You can't do that, you have to suck it. I feel like Jamie's smart, but not too smart, which is great for me. No, 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 don't explain it, don't explain it. Jamie, do it. Go. Oh, look oh, at his wow. face! Oh, oh, and he's actually quite funny. Lightbulb! Holy shit, female Jamie. And I'm sorry that I doubted you, oh mighty producers at Channel 10. That is bang on. How did you find him a woman? Dude, I love them together. Talk about playing your cards too early, 10. I'm sold on this fairy tale. This is. You may as well have just put Finn right there. Everyone would have been happy with that. Now you're just going to drag us through six weeks of shit, aren't you? What a great girl Brittany is. She makes me laugh and, in my opinion, she is the coolest person here. Apart from Tim. <laughs> <laughs> and he's right. All the rest of us Aussie males need to bow down to the king. Tim is... Basically, I think as soon as Bob Hawke died, his soul just went straight into him. Surfs and bees up, bros. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. With Brittany. She's infectious. Spending time with her is awesome. Wow, Bachelor in Paradise is such an upgrade from the normal Bachelor and Bachelorette, isn't it? Because it's sort of like 
season two of it. They understand what all the little quirks of the characters are. It all gels a little better. They all have catchphrases, such as the fact that Jamie doesn't know English. I believe having a rose is more stressful than where you don't have a rose. Oh, it's gonna be nice to keep Brittany here. Like, she's a lot of fun. I don't want to see anyone leave paradise. I want everyone to stay. I like how Jamie is constantly telling everyone, I just want to be liked. Well, that's just killed that, hasn't it? I do overthink things. It was only because I just care about people. Of course, but I think this early on... You're going to drive yourself into an early grave if you keep overthinking like you are. And it's literally like 12 hours in. Yeah. Bless Jamie's little cotton socks. He has come in dishing out his roses. Like Oprah, like, you get a rose, you get a rose. I just want everyone to be happy. And people were asking me last season why I keep referring to Jamie as a dog. If a dog could talk, that's what it would say. <laughs> I don't want anyone to leave. I like everyone. I just feel like I'm not like, vibing with, with like, really okay. anyone. That's fine. Like, anyone. That's fine. Uh, That's no? Yeah. Nah, okay. I take back my previous advice to incels. Not anyone can just use the word vibe and be an instant scarlet pimpernel. I really tried hard. I gave it my all. I was soft. I was sensitive. I was not being crazy. I was just being like, you know, no more. And, um, yeah, he said that wasn't good enough, so it felt bad. I mean, I've been saying it jokingly the other way around a lot, but you just get dumped bad, Jamie. Now, guys, remember, you only have one rose to give. Jamie, I'm talking to you. <laughs> oh, sure. See, that's what a 40-year-old should look like. The fact that Jamie doesn't look like that... Anyway, this is a long way around saying that you're too old for this, Osha, give up. I was actually saying, like, I know we've only known each other since May, Tim, but, like, I consider you my best friend in the whole world. Yeah. And, um, oh. and what an awesome person to have around. I don't know if anyone's noticed this, but her nipples out! Look it up yourself! Oh, my God! Geordie's has just secured himself a Daily Mail article! Oh, my God, I'm so excited! Do you think that the editors noticed? Look, I will say, maybe they haven't because I've been in that situation before in my Pakistan vlog. I had no idea that my nuts were out. Everyone who watched it was perfectly aware, but I wasn't. That's just all I'm saying about that, but look at it. It's fully out. Okay, so, yeah, so the way I'm reading it, I, I want to say how excited I am to give you my rose tonight. That's so good. Yeah, okay, so I was just like a little yeah. freaked out. I was like, oh my god, like, like will no. this actually come to fruition? Oh my gosh, how exciting! I definitely changed his mind then. You know what I just realised watching that? How nice is it being around positive people? Subscribe to this channel for more of the most negative person in Australia. I think maybe tomorrow we, we celebrate our roses. Sunday, Monday, oh deal, cheers. Really? <laughs> yeah, All right, done. <laughs> Okay, went really well, so I'm thinking, oh, maybe I will get a rose. Do you want to get another drink? I'm really thirsty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yay! She's awesome. I'm not even sure she's a person. I'm pretty sure she's just this self-generating endorphins factory. I kind of felt a little bit bad for Abby. But I just would like to stay. She's sort of scrambling for a rose. I don't want to see you go. And pours her heart out to me. Oh, don't worry about it. No, 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 Abby. I just want to take all of that anxiety away from her. Jesus, what an empathetic man. His autobiography should be entitled, Jamie, the man who cared too much. Come on, Jamie, make the right decision. I believe in you. Don't screw this up, Jamie. Jamie, please give us a name. Brittany. Yeah, good on you, Brit. Love you, Brit. Well, we won't watch the coming up on the next Bachelor in Paradise. People crying. Were you expecting that? Yes? It's happening anyway. You know how this goes. Press the like button and subscribe. This is the reason that we need to get bigger than Channel 7, because we need to expose this, that Kieran is just British Tim. Please share and comment below. Come in.